morning, Rust lovers. We've done another road trip. As you can see, there's Aaron there. Further around there, we've got, there is Nigel from North Ants. And we're back on the River Cam. And over here, we've got one of the uh, Cambridge Magnet Fishers. That's Richard Leach. So uh, we've got the Peakies on the way as well. I don't know whether they've managed to get Marie out of Birmingham or not, but we'll wait and see. Right, here's the water. Beautiful sunny day. Time to get the magnets in. Absolutely beautiful here. Oh, I forgot about bike box. Well. First throw of the day and it's not looking promising. Oh, God. Still got the little pen in the back, though. Right, yeah. <laughs> I don't Yeah. It's in the top of a trumpet, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually reed. Yeah, it's what we just stood on. He's going for that in your mouth as well. Yeah. No. Safe in the Birmingham. Yeah, go and show me really old bike lock and all. Had an awful lot of bottles off myself out of it. Yeah. Brian's bought for him. Yeah, they're a penny. Got half a pair of nail clippers, nail scissors. Car trim. Right, guys. So far, I've had uh, an old bike mug guard, piece of mesh, got a chaff can. A little bit of chain. Got an old silicon bike light. A little bit of uh, scrap metal. And just pulled my first knife of the day. Here we go, knife's a knife. And a penny. Yeah. 
Lantern handle. Please, no more lanterns. A tiny carabiner. Bottle tops. Old magnetic strip sign. Let's have a look what it says. There we go. Narrowboat passenger cruises on one of the old magnetic strips. Set of old Ford car keys. That's an old hatch locking pin. Sure, what that is. Fishing rod rest. I think that's the remains of a brush of some sort, an old paintbrush or something. these boats coming up and down here. I think Captain Hook's lost his hook. Cigarette lighter. And I got a badge. Videra. Got a bag, guys. Something heavy in it. I have a funny feeling this has got a cannonball in it. Nigel! You got a knife? I've got a bag, and I think it's got a big cannonball in it. Oh, 
Oh yes, you you see it is. Oh no, it inches away. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was a cannonball. He was well after them. Got the seam around it and all. You can get them with it, like. Yeah. Walk over that in your hand, you got that back. Yeah. I don't know if there's hotels in it. What is the question? What? I know. <laughs> I honestly thought I got a cannonball then. You can see it's got the seam running right round it. But when you turn it round, it's an anchor. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera off. Well, we just managed to uh, trick Glenn into thinking that was a full-size cannonball. He got all excited, bless him. <laughs> Why on earth anybody would put that in an old rucksack, though? I don't know. Right, as I was pulling that up, there was a skateboard coming up with it, so I'm going back for that now. Good bike lock. It's got wheels, you can't ride it on the road. <laughs> Another bike lock. All right. All right. Got fishing lure. Hi. Got another fishing lure attached to it. Push bike. There we go. We've got another fishing lure attached to a jumper that was wrapped around it as well. There we go. Another bike lock. Padlock. Haven't a clue what that is, some sort of remote control or something like that, I don't know. Hi P. Ten P. And a rusty nut. Got the metal handle of something. Oh, it's a bike lock, sorry. Another lighter. Another rusty nut. Well, the nice guy from the uh, Cam River Conservancy has just given me permission to go on this island here, which is normally out of bounds. And just across 
there about two years ago there was a full mortar come out of there so i'm going to take him up on the offer back to you shortly right we're over on the little island now so uh, let's get the magnets in here sorry i'll just lower you down a bit Come off a boat. Every piece of iron there, piece of angle. Grab rail. It's a ruin strip off a boat. That's an old spade. Piece of hand railing, big lump of chain, part of a bike wheel. Cut that for a well washed rivet. God, that's been in there some years. You get that wood grain effect on them. The remains of an old spark plug. Piece of fishing rod. Piece of a rod rest. Old set of Handlebars, and a couple of bolts. So it's fine. After we've moved, yes, as you can tell, we've got the railing behind us. We're back. Haven't a clue what that is. Poppins is dead. Yeah, we are What is it? Ding a Got a bike belt. Just like me, I'm ever ready. of uh, security device. It's 
not lube, it's lip balm. A friend spike, a piece of wee bar. <laughs> a pair of wire cutters. Part of a chair frame. Got an engine valve. And a drill bit. rescuing you, have a seat. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm just going to get back in the saddle. <laughs> there we go, we've got a bike seat. Got a wick holder for one of those lanterns, those road lanterns. There we go, we've got an old cranking handle. I think that might be off a boat engine or a cement mixer. Both pretty similar engines. Oh, it is. Right guys, I just had an old uh, till drawer. One of the really old ones. It's full of mud at the moment, but it was full of uh, little clear baggies as well. Unfortunately, all the baggies were coin baggies and empty, but got a coin thing in it that's all that was in it so yeah, full of baggies coin baggies I hope it's in there for Brother, if you're in the box, do we? It's in the plastic case. Wow, nineteen forty four to nineteen eighty eight. Market Garden. It's in a capsule. It's got to be gold. It's in a capsule. Look. So there we go, guys. Just gone through the bottom of that drawer and found this in there. And it says 1944 to 1989 Market Garden. It's a gold coin. It's still in the plastic case as well so i'm going to open that up later and give it a clean out and see what we've got but i'm off a funny feeling that's gold here it's it in the armor capsule yeah you know what i mean somebody out there did want it want it in the collection yeah so there we go guys we've just done a bit of research a quick google and this is a 1944 to 1989 anniversary uh, medallion for Operation Market Garden during World War II. So I'm very happy with that. Bit more research to do on it, but I'm very happy.